Hamilton County voters will soon decide whether to raise the sales tax to fund public transit, road and bridge improvements. That tax hike has support from Democrats, independents, even some Republicans. But the details are complicated. WCPO 9 News reporter Pat LaFleur has been breaking down issue 7 for months now. Today he did speak with an economist about how this change to the tax rate could have long lasting effects. And what did you learn? Well, Tanya, if voters approve issue 7, two things will happen. The county sales tax will go up by nearly a full percent, but the city's income tax will actually go down. The idea is to make the county, not the city, Cincinnati Metro's primary funding source. Supporters predict the higher sales tax will raise $100 million a year or more for Metro bus service, but it would also give Hamilton County the highest sales tax in the region. I spoke with UC economist Michael Jones today by phone. He said that could leave the county in a bind later on. And so if, if the county needs to raise more revenue, they, they've kind of used everything up. They, they've gone from 7 to 7.8. They can't go much higher uh, if they need to raise revenue uh, during this recessionary period or they need to make investments in other important areas. Now, Jones also said that lowering the city's income tax could benefit the city by making it more attractive to businesses to move to Cincinnati in the future. I have a link to Jones' full analysis on the economic impact of Issue 7, along with everything else you need to know about Issue 7, right now on our website, WCPO.com. Reporting from the newsroom, Pat LaFleur, WCPO 9 News.